silent for now. I decided that I do meditation, healing. I'm studying psychology. All this other stuff going on. Anybody wants healing, just call me. Let me know. We'll do it. How about we do a healing right now? Everybody that's on here. This is a method, healing method I've learned uh, from my friend Janet Richmond. And uh, I'm going to do it right now. You're having uh, text it to me, or at any point you want to talk, you want to you want to come on camera. This is healing, and and then uh, Bill Silverman, we're doing a healing right now. Uh huh. We we'll bring ourselves to the present moment, here and now. I have my feet in the water, in the ocean, Pacific Ocean. <laughs> So that's a good way <laughs> if you want to be here and now and snap out of my mind because I just learned this today. Um, we spend time in our minds. Uh, it stops us from feeling our emotions in our bodies. So I, 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 I didn't know until now that I'm intellectualizing, I'm thinking. Oh, nobody's watching. Everybody, <laughs> everybody signed up. Okay, well, it's recording. It's, it's, somebody will watch it later on. That can scare people, I think. So we're intellectualizing, we're thinking, and then it, trying to figure things out. And then we're not tuning in to our uh, emotions in our bodies. We're blocking it out somehow. And it's like, I, 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 I already had figured out that everything we do, we do to deal with the pain in us, Right, and then, uh, and then the fact that I, I realize I'm thinking a lot gets me out of my body, so I don't feel the pain. A lot of us do that, you know. And people do all in your brain, or uh, you know, excessive eating, addictions, all kinds of things, uh, sex to, to to not feel the pain. And uh, and that if you want to heal, you gotta face it. You gotta face. The truth that that you know it does hurt sometimes, and you, and then the, I, I see people who are scared to face the truth you find all the varieties of um, you know defense mechanisms in denial to, to to not face what they're doing. I see so much, and that's that's the, the first step. You gotta face it. You gotta face it. Face for what it is, not hide from it. Uh, and then, and then you, you, when you're able to look at it and not not distort it, see it for what it is, then you can start healing. You, and then you prepare to feel the pain. <laughs> Breathe into the pain and, and let it speak to you. Um, li life speaks to you. Your body speaks to you. Your pain, your problems are speaking to you. The language of life, the language of the soul. And um, the more you pay attention to it, you know, the more you listen to life. You listen to the people talking to you. You listen to the, the situations, whatever it is you have. It. And then uh, you, the more you pay attention, the more you learn to decipher the language of life. It isn't just the little words you hear from people. Uh, there's uh, there's uh, denotative and connotative language. The, the stuff that's represented and the, the stuff that just you know, said literally. So you got to learn to, to, to interpret, you know, like, you know, the basic thing, like if you're having back pain, sometimes it means uh, you have too much of a burden. Um, if you're having too much pain, maybe if you have a lot of pain, sometimes it's commonly uh, you have guilt for stuff that you feel you've done and then guilt looks for punishment. All, all of it, you, you start you know, studying, you st the more you study, the more you learn. And so the, the point is we want to let go of the pain. We want to let, because that's what mostly causes us the, 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 the concerns that we have, is the pain we carry from our past. Uh, it's like almost everybody's been hurt. You do get hurt. Everybody gets hurt. When the kids, especially, that affects you, affects your brain chemistry, affects your, you know, all the myriad of ways um, 
uh, trauma affects uh, your physiology, your, your brain chemistry, neurons, the chemicals, the um, even your genetics, the whole bit, uh, and, and your beliefs. You start the, the belief that something wrong with the world. The world is a mean place. People are mean. The belief in scarcity. Uh, uh, the, not enough love to go around. All of this stuff in our minds um, is uh, 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 is, keeps us limited. Uh, keep, keeps us, uh, you know. And so this is the work you do: is you keep releasing the the the, the beliefs, the pain, the traumas of the past by utilizing it. And this is how you do it. Let me show you. The, the creation, creation, this is this thing, the whole thing, what it's all about, what you think it is, and then the, what it actually is, and then beyond, and then something. The whole thing. It's you and I. I'm going to break it to you. There's a secret, a taboo. Uh, people are prevented from uh, knowing. It's all us. We are the universe. We are all that is. You and I. All of a whole bunch of us. We created the universe to fulfill our desires. For our own satisfaction. For us. And then we forgot who we are. I think just for the fun of it, just so, so we go through the process of remembering who we are again. And the sweetness of remembering. But I don't know, that's just some idea I have. The truth isn't carved in stone, never. It's, truth is not only weirder than you imagine, it's weirder than you can imagine. All the scriptures in the world, all the holy books, all the Bibles, all of it, they're all just as good as um, the writings on the um, back of a cereal box. Your Jesus, your, your Buddha, your Krishna, the whole, just as real as Santa Claus, your tooth fairy. And it's all the stuff that you think, it's just stuff that you think, that's all it is, you see. All of your beliefs are just beliefs in your head. And then realizing this gives you tremendous power because then you can change them, seeing them for what they are, your emotions. If you, if you stop being controlled by your emotions, stop being controlled by your beliefs, then you become truly powerful. And you're in charge, you're the master. Uh, our nice then uh, this quote pain is to master not to wallow in master master your your pain your sorrow your beliefs your thoughts your emotions and this is the way to do it oh. Let's have a moment of silence. Occasionally we're gonna have silence. Usually on uh, television, radio, they don't like silence. They call it dead air. But we're gonna keep having it once in a while. Uh, uh, the silence is what it's at. Silence is what truth is. Because it's not blocked out by concepts that we produce with thoughts and beliefs and words. In between the, the, the words, when there is brief silence, there, is, there it is. I am the divine amalgamation. I am my pure soul essence life. I am my higher selves and I invite in the higher selves of everybody watching, everybody that wants to.
the originating soils of all those and connect with the network of souls, all the souls and all of creation, all the universes, all the dimensions. A call on the rainbow bridge with the chakras of the originating source. I call on the tuning fork energy, which is uh, the tunes all the chakras to the originating source. Every aspect of my life, every every thought, every concept, every relationship. I call on divine health and healing for everybody. Every cell in your body, every organ, every system in your body. Psychological health. Every every emotions, your balance. Tune divine balance. Harmony, divine harmony. Forgiveness. Divine forgiveness. Can we have everybody forgive everything? Everything. Everything in the universe is forgiven. I forgive everybody. Let's forgive everybody right now. Divine forgiveness. My peace. Uh, divine liberation. Divine freedom. Neutralize, divine, neutralize, neutralize everything, neutralize. Let go of your pain, everybody. Let go of your sorrows, your grievances, falsehoods, false beliefs, negativity, hatred. Let go of it all. Let go of your sorrow, your misery. It's all in your mind. Release it, let it go. No, notice what your mind brings to your attention. Neutralize it with, with the divine light, let it go. I love you, say I love you to the people in your life. Tell, tell them you matter, they matter to you. Respect, divine respect. Have respect for the universe. Everyone around you is you. Have respect for them. Huh? Respect the people in your life. Tell them you respect them. It means a lot. That's what it is, really. Be kind to each other. If you can do something for somebody, just do it. Don't ask for something in return. Give freely. See, if you do think good things for people, you feel good. The, more, the better you feel, the more you feel you deserve. And you get what you deserve more than you get what you want. So if you're feeling good, you feel that you deserve the, the whole world, you get the whole world, you get everything you want. Let go of your pain. Any pain that comes up, you notice it, let it go. Any issue you have, not Notice it. Pay it and see what it's telling you. And let it go. Let it go. Of, of, it's pointing at something that you're doing. Maybe something you got wrong, some pain you're holding inside, some falsehood. Find out what it is and let it go. Even if you don't know what it is, if it is known or known, the causes of all your problems, let them go. Release them into the light. Everything you think about, who you are, what the universe is, it's just beliefs you accumulated. Let it go. Don't be scared. Let it go. Let go of your beliefs. That, that's what it is, I think, mostly. Our beliefs about who we are, what the world is, I think that's what limits us. Believe in nothing and set yourself free. <laughs>
There's a book. I saw a book that had that title. That's it. Believe it, nothing set yourself free. It's a, so liberating. It's like beliefs of prisons. You hide your thoughts are like prisons. And so you meditate. You learn to quiet your mind. Then when you see what it is. You see for the first time. Your all eyes open and you see. Because usually all you see, all you, your perception of reality is your thoughts about reality, you see. Here I am, I just arrived. I've been here all this time, I just arrived. Here I'm. I just got born again. <laughs> born again. This is what it is. I just had a that, that the experience of being in the moment, being here, and perceiving reality as it is. I love it when it happens when you, when you are camping. Wonderful experience I'm having. Divine vision, divine clarity, divine understanding, divine peace, divine love, divine transformation, divine forgiveness, divine fulfillment, divine satisfaction, divine relationship, divine masculine, divine feminine, divine relationship. Divine flush, divine plasma fills in the holes with all the stuff you released so it can heal. Put ourselves in the cocoon, continue the healing process. See you next time.